In another video, kind of the first in this sequence, we actually found f of x plus h. So in this video, we're going to look at f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. And the whole purpose of having that other video is so that we don't have to resolve what we've already done. So I've added that right up here at the top in the second line. So now that we have a division, I'm going to need to copy what I did right there. Hopefully I won't run out of space this time. And once I've done that, then I'm going to need to actually subtract f of x from that. Now when you're subtracting, make sure you put the entire f of x in a set of parentheses. So once you've got that done, that's all going to be over h. So I need to simplify, and I, I know that I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to go ahead and say that I, this is going to be plus a positive. This will now become a minus, and this will also become a minus. So now I want to combine like terms. So when I'm doing this, I notice that there's a minus 2x squared and there's a plus 2x squared. So this cancels with this. I've got a plus x and a minus x. I've got a plus 5 and a minus 5. So I want to write down everything that I did not cross out. So I have minus 4xh minus 2h squared plus h all over h. Well, I noticed that on the top I could factor out an h, or since you have an h in common to every term, you can actually cancel those. So that becomes a 1, that goes becomes a 1, and there you go. So now I'm going to have minus 4x minus 2h plus 1. Now, remember we did have this h over here on the bottom, so don't forget to write that h cannot equal 0. 